video. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, I've been waiting to get all the gear I was wanting to get before I began the video or made a new one. And uh, yeah, so I decided to do this now because got all my old war stuff and uh, thought it would be about time to make a video. So I'm just going to kind of start up there and just kind of go around like usual. So up here, this jacket here is an airborne like flight jacket thing. Uh, I'm not sure because I can't see a date on it, but you can see like where patches used to be. But on the inside, it says salvage and all that. So there's not really a date you can find there. But I put a medic armband that I made on here because it kind of looked like the medic from Band of Brothers, and I thought that was kind of cool. But I got this here really cheap because up here there's like a mess up in the zipper. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that jacket. It's very comfy. Um, over here, I got my uh, jungle boots. I got these today. I'm very happy with them. I gotta waterproof them and kind of weather them some, but they're very comfy. And also, I have a very big foot. But they're the right sole pattern for the what they're made for. And I left the pamphlet thing in here. So you can just kind of pause that and read that. But it's a 1968 jungle boot. And it has the punji uh, rod in the bottom. So if you happen to step in a punji pit, you don't get uh, killed. Or you won't get impaled as easily in your foot. So those are my boots. I like them. Um, here is ammo. Like blank ammo and 150. So these here are all... Uh, blank M1 Grand clips here. Uh, I can't find a date on them anywhere, but if you can help me out, that's what's on the bottom of all of them. But yeah, here's a blank M60 clip. I don't have a lot of it. I wish I did. Um. So what else? Uh, oh yeah, the 50 here's they're shot out of like a. AC 130s and all that. This here's from Vietnam, so that's pretty neat. Over here, I just kind of have my uh, my boonie, and I had this in here. It's for like a mess kit thing, and I just got put on that on there because I thought it was cool. And of course, my cap right there, and here's my uh, M60 ammo crate uh, from Vietnam. That was neat. It's my granddad's who was in there, so yeah, that's why I have it. Here's my uh my pants. They're my Boy Scout pants, but I showed them off in other videos, but they work. Uh, here is tiger stripe pants. Here, uh -oh. uh, I have uh, with a carabiner on the belt, the church key, and P51 can opener. Uh, a lot of guys did this just to kind of have it on them. Here I have, uh, I see, you can see pictures of guys, but these here are garters. They kind of like go around your leg and keep your, like, pants tied to you. But, uh, real ones are like elastic, but I made these just out of, uh, paracord. I feel like they came out pretty good. I just kind of improvised the hooks there at the end, but... They'll work for me. Here's my uh, tiger stripe fatigue. Just rolled up sleeves and all that. I like it. Um, here is uh, just a OD green t-shirt. Uh, not much else with that. Uh, here's my helmet. Uh, just kind of wrote on the helmet band there. There's the, this here's original writing on here. This here's an original from 1960 something. It's 60, I think two, I think. But yeah, it has the original writing on there, which I'm very happy with. Um, 
I got a new inner liner to it. It's a cheap one. It's not like the fiberglass wooden ones, but yeah. But I did take out the sweatband in, in it and replace it with a real sweatband out of my other helmet over there because the other one kept like unclipping and this one here is really good so I put it in there it fits comfy but it's just plastic I got it for like really cheap but yeah um over here I just kind of have you know a gun brush and all that and I did make uh bug spray I just uh you know, hand sanitizer bottle and I did print out the things for that on there and just kind of put dyed water in there all uh, right it does the job it's not real it doesn't do anything but it's just there for looks and all that uh, here I just kind of have uh, bandanas you know uh, well under, this is a blanket an army blanket um, I don't know where I got it from I just kind of have it uh, here my dog tags my Vietnam dog tags I just kind of put tape around them and that bullet shell that I made made as a necklace like P38 can opener on there here's a camel zippo uh, I like it looks like it'd be from the Nam uh, here are um, World War II dog tags they have my name and all that on them, but they were unissued and all that, but I bought them, then I got them stamped and all that with all my stuff on there. just kind of have it on this chain. I like it. Um, up here, I've got, uh, you know, dummy grenade. Uh, I need to paint the spoon, but yeah, it's like a World War II one. Uh, here are my canteens. Previously... I've had this one here, um, and that, yeah, I just never really took it out, but the date on here on the bottom is dated 1944, right there. Um, this is my granddad's. He didn't fight in World War II. It was Vietnam, but it was unissued, then it was issued to him. Uh, here is the canteen cup, dated 1956 really good condition again this year was his oh, I was in there I love it um, here's the canteen cup uh, it's dated 1962 it's in good condition uh, I bought it with this canteen here from him and it's dated 1976 uh, plastic canteen these are more common than the metal ones which I'm happy I got it has all that on there. I did put some carabiners on there, just you know, just to have it on there. But yeah, that's good. Here are some sea rat cans that I made. I'm happy with how they turned out. It's just kind of botchy with the paint, which I'm kind of mad about. But this is how they were. I mean, they'd be like this. They didn't have the tabs on them, as I as far as I can see. But these are right the right size and all that for the sea rat cans. Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty happy of how they turned out. I kind of spray painted them and all that, but they did the they they looked the part. Um, here is my helmet cover or helmet inner inner helmet that was originally in this helmet, but um, yeah, this strap here came with this inner liner in here. I just kind of put it on here. Um, this is the original sweatband that was in here, but I got a new one because the inner liner this here is kind of crap. Like the you know the head part but yeah I'm happy that I actually have that over here is my web set and I recently got my bayonet which I'm very happy with uh, it's not uh, dated Vietnam it's a new one got it for super cheap the just kind of wrote on the scabbard and all that number uh, the scab I want to get me a new scabbard, but the bayonet is uh, just like the ones that they had, minus a few things. But yeah, I'm happy I have it. The 
painted over some of the things there. Repainted the screws black to look more like what they had, but yeah, I'm really happy that I have this here. Uh, there. Uh, here's my 1911, my Airsoft one. Uh, you know, just gas pull it back. Not that great. Uh, doesn't really do what you want it to when it it doesn't really shoot that that well but you know it looks it looks great um here's my m56 uh you know canteen pouch thing for uh that that canteen right there um here's just you know just a standard wool or not wool just kind of fleece nylon canteen cover um here's my ammo pouch and just standard ammo pouch um here got my uh you know angle light uh i'm happy with it it um it came with two other lenses blue and red but i just have the clear lens in it right now but it's not dated you know vietnam but it's made exactly the same repro. Really high quality, and I'm happy with it. The last thing here, I made a snow helmet cover um, out of a t-shirt. Just kind of sewed it together to act like a helmet cover. And as most people know, um, the helmet covers, they never made snow helmet covers um, in Bastogne in World War II. A lot of the guys made snow or white helmet covers, just out of like sheets and stuff like that. But I kind of made mine, like you know, I, I kind of traced it with that helmet cover over there, and it kind of made like the squid shape and all that. And I'm happy of how it turned out. It's really well stitched, in my opinion, because I stitched it. But you know, that's that. And anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, give me any suggestions of what I should do. Um, in a few months, I'm going to be getting a new radio thing, so I might make a video on that. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video, and have a nice day.